Let's see how we did today. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a slipper lobster. Nice. Yeah, we yeah. did good today. I got a limit plus a slipper lobster. Good job. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a long time since I posted anything. It is now the beginning of lobster season, so uh, gonna run the same old setup here. Two tanks off the back, running about 30 feet here, and we'll see how we do. Let's go. So the first lobster we got here uh, was pretty early in the dive. The one on the left was actually too small. You can just tell once you've done it so many times that you didn't even bother uh, trying to catch him. It's important to check your net prior to your dive. Make sure there's no holes in it like this one right here. I was lucky enough that the lobster was too big to fit through the hole. In any case, a simple zip tie will do the trick. Okay, so that's our second lobster. Um, here you can see that I'm measuring this lobster over and over and over again uh, just to make sure that he is legal. Um, it was pretty close. I just want to make sure that I wasn't hooking the uh, eyes. There's a little piece of meat there between the eyes that sometimes people hook uh, and that can give you a false uh, positive. So make sure you guys are measuring the lobsters properly. Now here, we actually found something special. I know you can't really see it um, in the video right now, um, but this is actually a pretty rare find. I don't see too many of these uh, where I dive. Um, so I don't actually recommend sticking your hand underneath the rock um, to grab it, but these things are pretty slow moving and uh, they're pretty stupid. So I was able just to kind of reach in there and grab it. And we pulled out a nice slipper lobster. So this thing was actually pretty big. Look at the size of that thing.
Believe it or not, these things actually taste better than the spiny lobsters. Even though they are ugly looking, um, they're actually sweeter in taste. There is no season for these slipper lobsters, no bag limit, and no size limits. As long as they don't have eggs, you can keep them. So here I actually came across a big hole of lobsters, and you'll see it here in the top right hand corner when I start to go up here. Um, I'm going up to the kayak to actually grab my snare. Now my snare um, will offer me a better vantage point um, because of where these lobsters are at. I was afraid that they might scoop back further into the uh, into the cracks or underneath the rock. So I decided to use the snare at first, but then I ended up switching back to a tickle stick because I realized there really wasn't much room for those lobsters to go. I ended up getting my last three lobsters underneath this rock. Decided to bring the hotel with me because I knew I was going to be getting more lobsters underneath this rock and I didn't want to keep on swimming back to my bag. So I switched back to the tickle stick and net. Once I realized that the uh, hole didn't go very far back, um, I was able to net them pretty easy without a problem. Believe it or not, I prefer the tickle stick and net over the snare. I just feel like it's more practical and, I don't know, for me it's easier to use. Now the only downside to using the tickle stick and net, obviously you can have holes in your net, but also it takes time to get the lobster out of the net because of the spines getting tangled up in the string. So I'll say that's the biggest drawback to using a net and a tickle stick.
Okay, that was a quick dive. Um, I actually got my limb within like, I don't know, 30 minutes. Used up the rest of my oxygen to try to get a hat trick. That's spiny lobster, slipper lobster, and then I just missed a uh, Spanish lobster. So that's the Florida hat trick. Um, just barely missed it. I have another tank of air. I'm not gonna use it. No need to, it's safe for next time. Um, but make sure you guys subscribe and follow. Love you guys. See you soon.